Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter, boom, 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 review stuff, and I'm currently sitting outside of Burger King. I'm supposed to be on my program right now, uh, my diet program, but there was no way I was gonna miss the premiere of the Impossible Burger. So I'm going in here right now to order it. Um, I am super excited, um, and I went through and, um, and I told her, I was like, because I didn't have my camera ready, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back through. So, I'm getting ready to order this. I'm so excited. Oh my God, the Impossible Burger. You know I love the Impossible Burger. Okay. Thanks for choosing Burger King. Uh, can I get the Impossible Whopper with cheese, please? Sure. Now, can I, can, can I get that made in like a microwave or a... Uh... So, a no-coiler Impossible and cheese? Correct. Okay. And then can I get that as a combo with onion rings? Small, medium, or large? Let's do medium. Okay, you like the zesty sauce? Of course, I like the zesty sauce. Okay. What kind of drink? <laughs> can I get a Dr. Pepper? No, what else for you? Okay, can I also get, because um, I'm on a diet, can I also get some of the mozzarella sticks? Does it come in four piece orders? Just, one just, just one of them, yeah. Okay, and what else? For you? That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I was reading this article, and the thing is, is the so this car in front of me made this huge order, and so I was like, I don't want to be sitting behind here trying to record this for like 10 minutes, and so I was like talking to her, and then I was like, let me come back around because I could see that this car in front of me wasn't going to do. So anyway, I was reading this article about the Impossible Burger when it was coming out. And that you have to ask. I, I wish he would have done it the way that she had done it because, I, I, anyway. Um, so the article said that it's not 100% vegan or vegetarian if you don't ask for it to be made out of the broiler because um, the broiler that they use, they cook chicken in it as well, like the chicken fingers um, or chicken tenders or chicken, I don't know, the other burgers in there. So if you don't, and the other things like that. So if you don't ask for it specifically to be made, um, what do you call it? If you don't ask specifically for it to be made like in the microwave and the onion or in the onion, <laughs> that too, in the onion, not my onion, um, in the oven or um, in a separate broiler, then it's not completely vegetarian. So when I came through and I ordered it, she said, do you want that made in the broiler or do you want it in the microwave? And I said, can you make it in a separate broiler? And she said, no, we can't do that here. And I said, okay. Um, I said, then I'll just take it how it is. Hold on just a second, I'm gonna put this over here because I gotta use my card. Hello. How are you? Are you selling a lot of these Impossible Burgers today? Were you who I talked to first? Yep. Are they telling you guys to ask if it should be made in a broiler or a microwave? Oh, you were good about doing that. Yeah, because like some people like real well, life good. So, yeah. You know. Well, I'm a real life vegetarian, so I appreciate you asking. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're sweet. She is good at her job. Okay. She's like, because some people are real life vegetarians, and you know what? If you're a real life vegetarian, better use the chubby chap huckleberry that my friend Delia sent me. It don't come with mayo either. You get a microwave. Can I get mayo on it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't have that without mayo. <laughs> I mean, come on, what's a Whopper without mayo? I have to tell you, oh shoot, you know what? I even have my metal straw right here that I was gonna use. Well, we'll just, we'll save her for another day. I just texted my husband and I said, I'm supposed to be on program um, today. I said, but I'm going to review this Impossible Burger. I can't not re review the Impossible Burger. If you watch my vlog, I've literally talked about my favorite food in the entire world being the Impossible Burger from Cheesecake Factory, and now that they have it at Burger King, are you kidding me? Do you think that I'm not gonna review it? And he said, <laughs> he goes, well, you can get it without a bun and just take one bite and not eat anything else. I was like, okay, I'll think about that. <laughs> Onion rings. Oh, she's putting them in the bag right now. I love my onion rings. When I was a little kid, I used to come to Burger King with my mom, and I would wear the, uh, what do you call it, the crown. Do you remember that? Okay, so I have a funny story for you. 
So my husband and I, we used to go to this pool party thing that they had in Indianapolis every Sunday. It was called Rehab, like the Rehab in Las Vegas, but it wasn't really like the Rehab. Thank you, is there Vesti sauce in there? Yep. Okay, thank you so much, Ready? Um, so we would go to this pool party every Sunday. I hated it, anyway. <laughs> But I did it, and we like, anyway, it doesn't matter. So anyway, um, well, so we have a website, right? And we would always, like, sponsor, like, this place and whatever. So, like, that's why we had to be there. Well, on the way home, sometimes we would, like, stop and eat. And I'm going to sit way out here where I reviewed the French toast sticks. And we went in, Alex was like, I want to get Burger King. And so we went to Burger King. I think it was one of the very first times we had ever been to Burger King together because we go in there and he goes, um, he ordered a double Whopper with cheese and I go, did you just get a double Whopper with cheese? And he was like, yeah, they're fantastic or something. I can't remember what he said. And I was like, oh my God. And I go, well, I guess I'll have a double Whopper with cheese too. If you have never, if you have not lived unless you've had a double Whopper with cheese, okay, let me just tell you. So, now my favorite Diet Coke in the entire world is from McDonald's. Oh, this smells good. Okay, let's get into this. So, I have my tablecloth right here. Let's see what I have. Well, let me tell you, the, well, the prices aren't on here. I did, did I even get it? I didn't even get a receipt. Okay. My Zesty! <laughs> I love Zesty sauce so much, don't you? Here is the impossible. Here, I'm going to do a little thumbnail. Sometimes when I do my thumbnails like that, it looks like I have like five double chins, which I probably do. Wait, let me do this. We need a better thumbnail than that. <laughs> it's all so delicious, isn't it? Marinara! Okay. And then the onion rings. Oh my God, these rings don't look so good. Mm. And then my mozzarella sticks. Do you know where? I will tell you a true story. Has the best mozzarella sticks in the entire world. It's White Castles. Do you love White Castles so much? I love White Castles. They are so good. Okay. I used to call it Whitey Castile back in the day. Okay. So first I need to open my zesty sauce and put it in my... I'm not planning this out very well. You guys are like, just get to the, uh, the Impossible Burger. Hold on, please. That's the main course. Do you guys eat your food, like, one thing at a time? Like, you eat all your fries, and then you, um, do you do that? Don't come for me for smacking my lips, okay? I had to lick my finger off, I'm sorry. Or it would have, everything would have tasted like zesty. That's actually probably a good point. I should probably taste the Impossible Burger before I try the zesty. Do you guys have to, like, eat all your fries, all your mashed potatoes, all that kind of stuff, or do you do it like, you know, in like little bits and pieces here? Okay. The un here, I'm gonna put this over here a little bit. The unveiling of the Impossible Burger with cheese, it said, something just fell, I don't know what it was. Lettuce. Yup, looks just like a Whopper. There's no cheese on it. Are you kidding me? Well, I, I really do not ever get a Whopper without cheese. Do I drive back through and get cheese at eight minutes and 55 seconds? Seriously, this is gonna be the longest review in the entire world. I mean, I feel like if I have to review this, like honestly, then I have to like have the cheese on it. I'm so disappointed. How are you going to advertise and pay for no cheese or have cheese on it and then there's no cheese, Burger King? That's why people used to always call you Booger King, okay? Because you're Booger. <laughs> She's going to be like, I just got here. What is your problem? I'm going to be like, there's no cheese in my Whopper. I'm sorry, there's no cheese on this. There's no cheese on the Whopper. I mean, you make a whole new one? No, just, you can just throw a piece of cheese on it. Sorry Thank you. That. That's all right. 
the girl like took it and like looked at it. Like I'm gonna lie about there not being any cheese on it. I took the cheese and I slung it out the window. <laughs> They're all wearing these t-shirts. These oh, she's so bitter. She like he, she just handed her a t-shirt and it says 100% Whopper zero beef and she's like waving this t-shirt around. I'm gonna ask her about her t-shirt why she's not wearing that when she comes to the window. She don't even know she's in a YouTube video. I think that's kind of funny, don't you? Anyway, keep your receipt. Get a free Whopper. I didn't even get a receipt. I didn't get no cheese, and I didn't get a receipt. And this is going to be the world's longest review, and I don't even care at this point. It, well, you're really here for the experience, you know? Well, fuck it. Since I have to wait, we might as well try these mozzarella sticks. You ready? They don't look very good. Thank you. Why don't you have your shirt on yet? Because I just got my shirt. I saw her hand it to you. Yeah, you didn't look very excited. Yeah, that shirt is tight. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's a good shirt. It's like lime green or mint green. Those mozzarella sticks suck, y'all. Um, have you ever had them? They taste frozen. They almost taste like frozen fish sticks, which I cannot stand fish sticks at all. I mean, I don't eat fish, but ugh. I, even when I wasn't a vegetarian, I didn't eat fish. Here, I'm going to try a little bit more of it, but I don't think this is the answer at all. Those might be some of the worst fast food mozzarella sticks I've ever had in my entire life. Mm -mm. Those are horrible. Well, I guess I'll be saving some weight on those. All right. Here, let's try this over again. I'm not doing the thumbnail thing again. So she put... Here it is. Oh, now it's got cheese in it. You guys, it legit looks like a Whopper. I'm afraid to open it because I'm afraid it's gonna, this lettuce is going everywhere. Okay, but the patty looks real. It doesn't look like a veggie burger patty. It looks like the Impossible Burger, which I get at um, Cheesecake Factory. Are you ready? Okay. I'm testing this to see if it's good and if it's comparable to the Whopper. You guys. That is the answer right there. Oh my God, that is so good. That is like the Impossible Burger at Cheesecake Factory. I mean, because it's the same thing. You guys, it's this plant-based meat substitute. It's so good. I have wanted a Whopper for two years. Being a vegetarian, oh my god, I finally had a Whopper! It is so good, you guys. That is five out of five. Burger King, you, uh, you should have done this a long time ago. Now I can have one of my zesty onion rings here. Look at, look at this burnt ass onion ring. Look at that. Why would you even put that in here? I'm gonna eat it anyway though, why wouldn't you? Mmm. Oh, you guys, that is such, that Whopper is fantastic. Did you see? It's straight up. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me take it off this way. This is what the patty looks like. It's straight up. It's like a Whopper, you guys. It's delicious. I had faith gotta have faith. I have faith in you, um, Impossible Burger. I don't know who owns Impossible Burger, but they need to endorse me and sponsor me because I've talked about their stuff for so long. Oh my God, that's so good. That is so good.
you know, the thing is, that's really nice about stuff like this is that, you know, as a vegetarian, you still want to have the other options that other people have. You want to try, it's not like you want to go into a restaurant and everybody else gets to try all this kind of different stuff, right? And you have five meal options. You want the same options as everybody else has, right? I mean, it's like if you're not a vegetarian, imagine going to a vegetarian restaurant every single day. Well, for you, it wouldn't be a problem because you could eat anything off the menu, right? But when you're limited and you go to a menu, like over across the streets, Popeye's chicken, you think I could go in there? I could probably get some fries. But, oh my God, that is so good. It is so good. You guys, I'm telling you right now, you've got to go out and get the Impossible Burger. It is so, so, so good. Look at this. Like, that's a double DNA onion ring right there. I will tell you, and I don't know if it's just today, but these are some of the worst onion rings I've ever had from Burger King in my entire life. They're all of them burnt and crunchy. I feel like I got the, bar the bottom of the barrel. I mean, look, what is going on? I'm not like I'm not gonna eat them. But anyway, I'm not gonna eat this whole sandwich. But I totally could. It is so delicious, you guys. Oh my God. Five out of five. You might be the very first thing that has ever gotten applause from me on my review channel. Five out of five. Yes. And um, if you guys have not tried it, go try it. If you have, put in the comment section below what you think. I think it's fantastic. I am so happy that it's here. Now I'm gonna go back on my diet. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.